All right, so now we are in the E-Deliver electric vehicle, E-Deliver 9. Um, yeah, it's a van, what can I say? It's a commercial van, it's huge. Big payload in the back. All right, look at that gear shift. Oh, wow, it's tactile, look at that. Do we have a park brake? I'm not gonna embarrass myself again. There we go, it's down. <laughs> Very, very old school, very tactile. I love it. And it's literally hailing now at the moment. It's hilarious. It's a good test for these cars. Should we ever take them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Wow. We've had all four seasons today. We've had sunshine, we've had rain, we've had gusts of wind, we've had hail. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the wipers on far out, let's be a good test, oh, that's a big armrest, lots of storage, storage there for some, oh, car keys, yeah, handles, okay, nice big windows, I don't often drive a big van like this, but hey, when I get the chance I will. Powered windows, let's see, we've got, yeah, you know, not powered seat, just mechanical, it's okay. There's a van after all, left hand indicate. Nice big screen, Apple CarPlay, it's pretty good. Uh, air conditioning settings, uh, safety settings, all sorts of things. Got a uh, analog display here for the speedometer. And um, also a analog display for the power as well. Some regen braking too. Power consumption, 36 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Range, 195 kilometers with, I would say, maybe 80% left in the tank. Let's check out the regen. Yeah, not bad, grabs it back. Yeah, felt that. That's good. I'm trying to work out these wipers here, let's see. Look it up. There we go. That's more like Not rain sensing. That's okay. Intermittent low high. Let's go low. Yeah, I think we need that right now. Air con vents. Those of you who watch my channel will know that I, oh, yes, I am a secret van fan. I do like the vans. I'm glad that there is now an electric van as an offering. If I need a van next time to bring stuff to the tip, to bring heavy furniture back home from wherever, hardware stores, then I will maybe think about it in the electric van. Look, there's the uh, Mifa 9, people mover, just overtaking us there. Look how zippy that thing is. That will sell well too. Okay, we're going at 60 kilometers an hour. Vehicle's asking 40% of the motor, the power. Nice smooth ride. USB port there. And storage down here too. That's good. Look at this heavy duty uh, floor mat or floor covering. Very heavy duty. That's good. That's what you want. Glove box. Thanks, Angela. Yep, lots of room in there. What have we got up here? We've got sunglass holder, kind of a sun car without a sunglass holder these days. Light switches, massive visor, just the ticket holder. Of course, this swings out as well. I'm sure that swings out. Just need to turn first. Oh yeah, a bit tight. There we go. It does swing out. Make this turn, let's see, how does it handle? Handles good. Nice turn. Flip back in. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's good, didn't break it. Tough as. Yep, durable plastic. Some tough there. I like it, I like it a lot. More cup holders on the side there. Thank you. Nice big side mirror too. Good V8 
visibility. You can see all around me. I'm lower down as well, obviously being quite a tall vehicle. Bifocal. Handling these S's all right. Pothole, let's check. There's a little one, it's okay. So here are the specs for the E-Deliver 9 van that we're test driving today. $110,710 drive away, Evian holders, $116,537 RIP. We've got an 88.55 kilowatt hour battery for 280 kilometers of WLTP range, presumably. And uh, 45 minute DC fast charging, apparently. <clears throat> Five year, 160,000 kilometer new vehicle warranty with a eight year, 160,000 kilometer battery warranty from LDV Motors. And a quick look around the passenger seat as Angela's driving us back. A handrail holding thing there. And power windows on the side. Tough floor. Check out the secret compartment here. Again, I must stress these are pre-production specs and interiors, so they may not come to the final product. So this uh, actually a cigarette. Look at that, I haven't seen that in ages. A cigarette um, lighter. <laughs> the 12 volt plug is, so, yeah, I'm not sure that will come. Ashtray. Right. And I'm on the way back now to the winery. E deliver electric van. Let's have a look inside. Look how roomy that is. Oh, wow. Oh. So much space. Yep, these will do really well. You can see inside the cabin right there. That's where we were. And then open up this way. Ta da! And we jump out. Yep, that's cool. And then we shut the door. There we go, the E Deliver 9 LDV. Thank you very much indeed. All right, everyone, that's it for me, Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you very much again for watching this video. And thank you again to LDV Automotive Australia for hosting me today on their uh, launch of the electric ute and also the people mover and also the commercial van as well. Really appreciated the day, really enjoyable. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video as well and uh, hopefully more test drives to come from LDV in the future. Otherwise, thanks for watching, take care, and as always, happy charging.